Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Katie, and you guys should be sure to subscribe for a ton of my videos. I post very frequently. And today's video is going to be a life hacks video because um, I know you guys like like ha <laughs> I know you guys like life hacks videos, but this is going to be even better because it's going to be a iPhone life hacks video because you guys love what's on my iPhone videos and you guys love life hacks videos. So I thought I would combine the two and make a iPhone life hacks video for you guys. And this was actually so cool to film because as I was like researching like life hacks because um, I looked some up online and I had no idea some of the things you could do on your iPhone and they were so cool. So I wanted to share those with you guys and teach you guys some really cool life hacks. So with that being said, let's just jump right on into the video so we can make your life a little easier with your iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, you can use it on your iPad or on your iPod as well. So this is for the Apple users, and if you're not an Apple user, I am so sorry, but maybe you can tell your friends and help them out with their iPhones. So let's just jump on into the video and get started. Okay, so the first life hack is so cool, and it is when you are on a calculator, and let's say, like, have you ever, like, typed out a long equation? Like, let's say we're doing, like, times 0 0.03 and let's say I didn't mean to press the 8 all you do is swipe your finger across the screen like this like pull it um right to left so right here and it'll take away a number just like that it is so cool like I had no idea you could do that the next one is again with the calculator this one you may have known but you might not have known if you tip your phone sideways then it'll turn into a um what's it called graphing calculator so you can do a lot of things with an iPhone calculator. I honestly use my iPhone for calculators all the time. And all you do is say it's a normal calculator, tip it, and it's a graphing calculator. Alright, the next life hack is also really cool because I feel like uh, this is me, this situation all the time. Have you ever been in a car and like your family's like, hey turn on the GPS or something and then you're like, uh, I don't want to waste my data on the GPS like I feel like that's always me because I only get a certain amount of like data for the month and it's very complicated when someone wants to use GPS or you need to use GPS and you don't want to waste all your data so you can just download Google Maps and um, it actually doesn't use any data so you just go to your phone use your Google Maps and you can like see what streets you're on and everything and And you can just see what streets you're on and everything and like so and see all the streets and stuff. But yeah, it's a lot better than using um, your maps that come with your phone because this way you're not using data. Okay, so the next life hack is also really cool and it is when you are on your phone and you are texting someone like I'm texting my sister. This is just a fake message that I typed up but I was like, hey, what's up? How are you? I'm bored. Blah, blah, blah. It's just a fake message. And instead of like holding down the space bar and just deleting it, you can actually shake your phone and then this thing will pop up and you just hit undo typing. So I thought that one was really cool. Because I feel like a lot of times I go to text someone and I text them this long paragraph and then I'm like, no, 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 I gotta reword it. So I like I delete the whole thing and I hold down the space bar, but this is a lot cooler so you can just shake your phone and then hit undo. Okay, the next one's really cool because if you're trying to text someone the weather or something and you didn't know this, I didn't know this before, but if you are trying to say like it's 70 degrees, then in your messages, you're just going to be, hey, it's 70 degrees. And how to get the degree symbol is you hold down zero and then you just slide over and there is, hey, 70 degrees. <laughs> Okay, the next life hack I know most of you probably know, but if you don't, this is just how to, you can save more battery life on your phone. So by closing your tabs, all you do is double click the home button, which is that button, and then you can slide up um, all your apps like this. Then I can also just go like that, and then that will save your um, battery life. Also, if you turn down your brightness like that but also really creepy because um, Apple on your iPhone they actually track where you've been in the frequent places that you've been so it's kind of creepy but it's kind of cool to see if someone was lying to you or not let's say you have a boyfriend or girlfriend that said they went somewhere and you think they're lying to you first of all you should break up with them second of all to see if they're lying you can just check your phone and or check their phone then you just go to settings privacy then location services and then you go down and click system services where's that been? system Gotta find that. System services all at the bottom, and then you go down to frequent locations. But then they will be listed below frequent locations, but I have mine turned off so you can't see. 
Okay, life hack number eight is really cool because if you um, have a lot of stuff on your phone, if you can't take any more pictures because you're out of storage, then instead of just deleting a whole bunch of apps that you don't know how much storage you're actually taking up, you can go to your settings and then go to general and then go down to storage and iCloud usage and then you can see, ma click manage storage and then it'll show you which apps take up the most storage. So then you can like kind of determine which ones you don't need. So like iMessages takes up a lot of mine. Obviously you can't get rid of that. But like, let's see, like Trivia Crack. That's way higher, that's so much more storage than like my Bible app or Google Maps. So I will delete my Trivia Crack because I don't really play that and I could live without that. So I'm just gonna click Delete App. And so instead of deleting just random apps, you can actually see which ones are going to give you the most storage so you don't have to delete a ton. You can just delete the ones that um, take up the most storage. Okay, this next one's really helpful if you have a iPhone and your home button or your lock button is broke. Then all you do is you go to your settings and then you go to general. And then you go to accessibility and then you go down to assess assistive touch and then you turn that on. And then you can just go right here and go to your home, use that as your home button, or you can use it as Siri um, or notification center control center you can use this thing to lock it as well device then lock screen so it's really cool because it's basically like having a home button without um, having one <laughs> it's basically just like having one when it's broken so I think that one's really cool too the next life hack I use all the time and is because I have my red on so like if someone texts me if I open the message it shows that I read the message and I don't always want to read my messages because maybe I'm busy or doing something but I still want to see what they're saying See if it's like important or like um, like an emergency or something. So if someone texts you like right now how my sister did, instead of pulling it down, you're actually going to slide it up and then you're going to pull it down and then she just said my full name. I don't know. She's right here just sending me a text message just um, to show you guys. So it, it just slid down, but I can see it and um, it won't show up as read. This can, does it say that I read it? says delivered that's it all it says is delivered and it doesn't say that it's red and I do have my red um, on so that is all good <laughs> the last life hack is probably the most important life hack you will ever use in your life and that is to follow me on Instagram I'm totally kidding you guys that's not a life hack at all but if you guys want to the next life hack we are all guilty of taking selfies and if you're not well then good for you I guess but um, a lot of us do take selfies and I think this help tip is really helpful because if you um, cannot like um, if you keep like dropping your phone because you want to get the, like the right angle and you want to press the home button you just grab a pair of headphones and you can actually use the top part of the button to take a picture so all you do is go to your camera roll get on your face I'm actually gonna take a selfie here get all ready for your selfie and then you can just click the top button Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you um, have never heard of some of these life hacks before, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Or if it helped you whatsoever, be sure to why can't I talk? Be sure to subscribe for more videos. I post very frequently. And if you guys have not seen my um, guy versus girl morning routine, I think it is so funny. It's me and my sister, um, and she is a guy. She dressed up as a guy, and we did a guy versus girl. Um, morning routine and it's kind of like a joke video because like it's like the girls being all like oh girly and then the guys being like such a pig and it's like a total joke but I will leave that link down below because I think it's super funny you guys should totally go check it out and that is all I really have for this video and all I have to say so just subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter I will leave those right here and be sure to do that so you guys can see what I'm up to and yes I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye